for 127 years, the pit has been the spot where the Jackson population floods in to support their football team. Let's take a journey through time and explore the history of Cape Girardeau and surrounding areas. We'll bring to life a collection of historic photos showcasing the contrast of then and now. I'm Morgan and this is Before and After. And today we're gonna to look at the Jackson Football Stadium. The town only has a population of 15,000 or so, but when Jackson has a home game, the town, the band, the student section, everyone comes in to fill up and create this electric type atmosphere. The Jackson High School Football Stadium, nicknamed the Pit due to being built in a quarry, is everything to the Jackson community. The whole town shows up on Friday nights. The team has the six most wins in Missouri high school football history and shares one of the oldest rivalries in the country at 110 years with Cape Central. At every home game, you'll hear the March song, the student section chanting, and the PA announcer, Mr. Stover, calling the game. But before all that, what was there? This photo taken in the 1920s has the hillside in the background and it gave me an idea of where it was most likely taken. It's on the home side of the field near the old gymnasium. Currently there are stands there which were added within the last five to ten years. And here is a shot of the team on a cold day in 1956 warming up on the sideline. The old gymnasium helped as a reference point to line this up. This is a 1955 team photo. The gym on the right is the same. They added a lot more to the parking lot though as you can see and added to the old gym. The light pole in the background was the only reference point I had for this photo. This was a bit of a guessing game, but I'm pretty sure it's on this side of the field. Here's a photo of Coach Call White in 1967. This one lined up really well with the home side of the stands. This was taken in the late 80s before a game. You can see the away stands and the church tower in the background which made it easy to line up. Jackson has had this entrance for its players for a long time. I remember going through this a couple times myself. Another interesting image was this aerial shot taken in 2002. In comparison to now, the campus is very bare. A lot of new buildings, including the new gym, has been added. The two houses are no longer there. You can see the hillside that I mentioned earlier and that was before the new seating was added. Last but not least, this is one of my favorite photos of the stadium because it shows the crowd, it gives the stadium life. It really encapsulates the energy on a Friday night. This was taken in 2006 during the Cape Jackson rivalry. I believe it was the 100th meeting between the two. It all started in 1892 when Carlisle Training School was established. In 1895, they made a football team. Unfortunately, the school closed and the Jackson Military Academy was created. After 43 years of playing football with the help of the federal government, the town finished building a stadium. It opened on September 23, 1938, and the team lost six to nothing against Chaffee. The entire project cost just over $19,000. One of the first things you'll notice about this one-of-a-kind high school stadium is that the stands are very close to the field, unlike most high school stadiums that have a track around it. As a spectator, you're so much closer to the action. The surface was grass up until 2018 when they installed the turf. The stands on the home side near the old gym were added within the last five to 10 years, and that's where the students sit at. The band sits behind the field goal, Jackson has hosted numerous important regular season and playoff games and many graduations. A couple of current NFL players that played here were Blaine Gabbert and Kyron Williams. From the days of leather helmets and grassy, muddy surfaces to turf and pro-style offenses, this has been before and after. 